Module 1.4 Quick and Global Filters and a Brief Rundown of Each Feature Button Welcome to Module 1.4 of your Profarm Professional Training Course. In this fourth module we look at how global and quick filters can be a major benefit in the form book. But first of all we'll take a brief look at each of the feature buttons. A brief rundown of each feature button. Here is a quick summary of what lies behind each button on the left hand button bar. We will revisit these in depth in later modules within this training course. Behind the calendar is the calendar screen that allows you to select races and results. Search contains various searches for horses, races, jockeys, trainers and courses. The horse watcher allows you to manage the list of horses you've added to be alerted about. The bet manager allows you to add bets in so you can track your profit and loss. Draw stats allows you to choose course, distances and race types so you can see the draw bias at various tracks. Yesterday's, today's and tomorrow's runners allows you to quickly see horses running on them relevant days. The exporter tool allows you to export data from Proform. Preferences allows you to customise your Proform setup. The update data button does exactly the same as the main download button on the welcome screen. Proform website will take you to our website. Help will open the help file. System builder we've touched on in a previous module and we'll come back to this in module 2. Backup and restore explains how to backup and restore your database. And non runners is the automatic non runner removal tool. Managing the global form filters. The Proform database holds UK form back to 1997 and Irish form back to 2009. The global form filters allow you to restrict the form book to only use a small portion of this form. By default when you first install Proform the global form filters are set at 4 years in the past. In this section we will show you how to manage the global form filters. When you open Proform you can see the global form filter you have set on the top of the title bar and the date that the form goes back to. This can be changed in the preferences screen which is found from options, preferences and on the first tab, the general tab, there is a global form filter and the date you can set it from and you can see we have it turned on at the moment and set to go back as far as the 1st of January 2008. If we turn the global form filter off, you will receive a warning that this could affect the speed of the database. We'll keep it turned off, click OK, and you can see at the top, it now says, no global form filter set, warning, could slow down Proform. So if we go back in, options, preferences, and change it back, and it's on January 2008, click OK. So you can see we have the global form filter now set to the 1st of January 2008. So if we open a race for today and we'll have a look at Gap Princess which is an 8 year old and the horse's form. If we scroll down because it's in date order we can see the form goes to 2008. If we were to go into the preferences again and change this to all form. The form book will refresh and we can now see all of the form for this horse. So let's change it back again. Then the screen refreshes and we now just seen form from 2008. Using quick filters in the form book. Quick filters in the form book allow you to quickly restrict the form you see to five race types turf, all weather, chase, hurdle, or national and flat, and winner only or win and place form. So we're now back in the form book and we have the same Wolverhampton race selected. So this is a seven furlong race on the all weather. Currently, we were looking at all form for all horses, back to the global form filter date of 1st of January 2008. Now when you're looking at an all weather race, you may just want to look at all weather form. So using the quick filters, 
we can quickly turn off all the filters, re-choose our weather, click apply, and we'll now see just all weather form for this race. And you can see we have quick filter selected at a glance by the status on the bottom of the filter button. The quick filter has not only affected what we see on the horse form tab, it's also affected the pace form string and the form string next to the horse's name. It's also affected the official rating last time out and various other fields that are seen on the race card. If you go back and look at the form book glossary, this tells you which fields are affected by filters. You'll also note on the prior form we're only now seeing all weather form. The colour coding on the form book. When a line of form is shown in blue, this is for winning form. When it's shown in turquoise, this is placed form. And when it's just shown in black and white, this is unplaced form. We can actually also filter out just the winds. So we choose winds on the quick filters and click apply. This is now showing us just winning form for this race. And we can see the form string has been affected and only shows us winning form. And the pace form is only showing the pace abbreviations for that winning form. And the official ratings are just showing winning official rating. And down at the bottom in the prior form, it's all just the winning races now. And if we have a look at horse form for each of these different ones, we can see we're only seeing winning form. And the same applies if we choose win and place. And click apply. The quick filters now just show us all win and place form. Quick filter status. It is important to note the quick filter status because it can be easily forgotten that you had some filters set. For instance, we're back in the form book now and we can see quick filters are set from the status on the filter button. If we were to close the data view, the quick filters are still set. And if we then move to another race and opened it up, we've still got quick filters set. So the form you're seeing is still only all weather win and place form. So it's important to remember and have a quick glance to make sure you've not got any filters set when you're going between different races. And you can quickly put them back to all turned off by clicking all and then all at this side click apply and you'll see the status disappears because we now have no quick filter set and all the form will reappear again well that's it for module 1.4 training session tomorrow module 1.5 will become available to you experiment with the quick filters in the form book and tomorrow we will take a look at the advanced filters